this video, I'm going to describe the relationship between um, a time waveform, a spectrum, and an envelope spectrum. We're going to talk a little bit about demodulation and modulation. So first of all, we have a sine wave over here, and we have a spectrum of that. I can change the frequency of the sine wave. So higher frequency, lower frequency, you see the peak moving in the spectrum. I can change the amplitude of that sine wave, going up, going down, and you see the peak in the spectrum also going up and going down. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to modulate this frequency by another frequency. So I have a wave at 25 hertz, and now I'm going to modulate that or make it get repetitively louder and softer at a rate of about 4 hertz. And what you see here is amplitude modulation. In the FFT spectrum, you see sidebands. And the spacing between these and the center peak is the modulating frequency. Now I'm going to change that frequency. So that's higher, and they're further apart from each other, and then that's a lower frequency of modulation. Okay, so that's sidebands. I can also change the amplitude of the modulating frequency up and down, and you see the amplitude of the sidebands go up and down when I change that. Okay, this is called an envelope spectrum or a demodulated spectrum. And what this does is it returns the modulating frequency. So the modulating frequency in this case right now is at 7 hertz, and what we see here is a peak at 7 hertz. So that's telling us what's doing the modulation. That's what demodulation does. Um, now, you might notice here there's some harmonics in this, and that's because when it demodulates it, it's not demodulating an exact sine wave. And what I'm going to do is clip the modulating frequency a little bit. If you watch the top wave, you'll see it changing shape a little bit. So now it's less like a sine wave. I'm going to make it a little bit higher as well. And what you see now is more harmonics in the um, demodulated spectrum. You also see more sidebands uh, in the regular spectrum because the modulating frequency is not a sine wave. If I clip the frequency being modulated, that's the 25 hertz, what you'll start to see are harmonics of 25 hertz coming up. I'm going to unclip the uh, modulating frequency. And you can see here there's 25, there's 50, there's 75, and these also have sidebands. And then here you can see also the harmonics. Amplitude modulation is common in gearboxes, rolling element bearings, and AC motors. And demodulation, or the envelope spectrum, is useful in these cases as well. A lot of people misunderstand that graph. They might see a 1x peak in a demodulated spectrum or a peak view spectrum or similar, and they might think that they have unbalanced uh, because they're not understanding that the envelope spectrum is not the same as the normal spectrum. Anyway, that was a very, very short introduction. If you'd like to learn more, the best way to do that is to come to one of my classes. Um, I have CAT 1, 2, and 3 in accordance with ISO 18436-2 in English and in Spanish, um, offered publicly and privately, either online or in person. If you have three or more people, you can uh, hire me to come to your site or have a private class online. And uh, I have upcoming public classes in Miami at Ludeca, in Houston at Envibe, and in New York at CTC. Hope to see you soon. You can also check out uh, my full schedule on my website, zencovibrations.com, or you can email me at zencovibe at gmail.com.